Good police procedure. Pick the person. Know their history. If they're good, let them go. If they're bad, put them away. Simple. Now, are you going to be all right? It's been a pretty stressful day for you. I'm fine. Okay. This interview is being recorded and may be given as evidence if this case is brought to trial. I am Detective Constable 294 Bob Reynolds, currently working for the Serious Crimes Unit based at Central Glasgow Police Station. It is the 11th of November 2014. The time that I've got is 15.47. The person of interest in the case, a Mr Michael Finlay, has opted against legal counsel and can change that decision at any point in this interview. Are you ready to begin? Aye. Can you please tell me your whereabouts? between 10 and 11 a.m. on the 1st of November, 2014. No comment. The victim, your wife, was found in your residence with one critical stab wound to her lower abdomen. Am I correct in assuming you were the only one living with her at this point in time? No comment. The forensic investigation carried out at the scene indicated a visible cleanup. The blood that was found matches your wife's blood. It matches the blood that was found in your clothes. Can you please explain to me any way how that got there? No comment. A knife matching the wound of the victim was found in a bin near the crime scene. After DNA testing, it has been identified as the knife that killed your wife. Can you explain how that got there? No comment. You were caught leaving the premises in an obviously distressed state of mind, covered in your wife's blood. Do you have any explanation as to how that happened? No comment. Please, can you give me any insight as to how this has occurred. No comment. The recording has been paused at 11.51 for a short recess. Are you thirsty? We've got um, coffee. I'm fine. The recording's off. You could confess right now and the only person that would be fucked in here would be me. Are you hungry? No, I'm fine. Look, mate. I'm not your mate. You're right. I'm sorry that was um, unprofessional of me. You chose, before we came in here, not to have legal counsel, and that's great. I recommended that to you. As soon as someone lawyers up, they might as well be installing a flashing light above their head saying, I bloody did it. But what is just as bad is not answering the questions. I didn't do it. And someone like you won't give a shit about what I say. 
what you need to know is, right now, the situation you're in is not good. Your wife is dead, found in a flat you shared with her, stabbed with a knife you handled, and was in, indicated by your criminal record and the amount of domestic disturbances your residence has had in the past, a self-destructive relationship that was always going to end in tragedy. Don't try and tell me about my relationship with my wife. I'm trying to help you. Sure. But I am, Michael. At the end of the day, an innocent person has been killed. This police force... No, I won't stop until someone has been punished for this crime. Aye, well so far you've done a pretty bad job at getting the right guy. Maybe. Maybe we have. Maybe you have been royally and unequivocally fucked over. But at this one point in time, everything we have on that poor girl's unneeded demise points directly at you. Fuck you. Right now, you're our main suspect. You're our only suspect. And I wouldn't be able to do my job correctly if I didn't abide by innocent till proven guilty. Your job is to lock people up and you don't give a shit about us. Michael, I give a shit about the guy that killed your wife. I give a shit about not locking up the wrong person. But you answering no comment to every single question is only going to dig yourself a deeper hole. I didn't do it. And if that's true, then help me. Please. My sergeant, the courts, I will be a lot less suspicious if you just start answering the questions. Please, help me sort this out. Okay. Recording has recommenced at 1557. Are you okay to continue? Yes. The victim, your wife, was found as described. Am I correct in assuming you were the only one living with her at that point in time? Yes. Fantastic. Let's keep this up, okay? Can you please tell me your whereabouts between 10 and 11 a.m. on the 1st of November 2014? I was out on a run. I was training for a fight. Have you or the victim ever had any trouble with the police before? Once or twice. Can you don't tell us from my record? Aye, but... I want to hear your side of the whole story. Well, yeah, just a little bit for the usual stuff. Drugs and assault, but, but that wasn't my fault. Okay. And I never killed anyone. All right. Now, your wife. Has she recently been acting suspicious? Paranoid, maybe as if someone's been watching her at all? More than once, we filed reports of raised voices, aggressive sounding behaviour, twice you've been visited for domestic abuse. How would you say, honestly, your relationship was with your wife? Fuck this. We argued. Everyone argues. I never touched her. Like that. Ever reported that I had a stick up their own ass? <laughs> Probably, but annoyingly, that's not something we can follow up on. 
Now, at the crime scene, the front door, it has no physical indications of forced entry. Is there anyone else apart from yourself that had access to your flat? The fuck do I know? Postman, maybe. I mean, if she was ordering something. She had. She had ordered something. You know, these questions you're asking me doesn't feel like they're actually helping me. It sounds like you're trying to make me out to be Michael, something that I'm not. Please! Calm yourself. Getting angry won't help you at all in this situation. You know I'm trying to do what's right here. Now the knife. The knife that's from a knife set in your kitchen. Can you please give me any idea how her blood and your fingerprints got on it? Well, I had to. It was stuck in the door. It shut the door over. I mean, I knew what it would look like if I had it in my hand. All right, all right, all like right. I think that's all we need. You getting aggressive isn't helping anyone. Aggressive? Are you fucking kidding me on? It doesn't even sound like you're trying to help me. Michael, let's not make it worse for yourself, okay? How is this helping me? How could it get any worse? I've tried to explain it. You've you not explained me. your side. No. No, I've not explained my side. This is bullshit. This is piss. You're ripping the piss out of me. And That's enough, Michael. Now listen carefully, because what I'm about to say is important. I, DC 294 Bob Reynolds, feel that I have compiled a sufficient amount of evidence to charge you with murder of the first degree. You will await trial in jail with bail still to be set. If there is anything else you would like to say, please do so now. I didn't even try. And I stop the interview at 15.59. Good police procedure. Pick the person. Know their history. If they're good, let them go. If they're bad, Simple.